Now, we've already looked at, uh, in another video, how to make this uh, into, or not how to, well, just how to find its inverse uh, matrix. Um, there's a different way you can find the, the inverse matrix with uh, two by twos, and that's by uh, finding the, the determinant, and, um, and using the determinant to multiply to the matrix, using scalar multiplication to find the inverse. But um, in order to do that, you first have to know what the determinant looks like. The determinant is, uh, for this matrix right here, to find it, you would take you would take the, the 3 and the 2 and multiply those together. Uh, so we go 3 times 2 and set that, or, and then subtract uh, the negative 1 and the negative 2. So negative 2 times negative 1. Okay, so this would be a 6 minus uh, 2 and that would equal 4. And what you have to do is you have to check to see if this uh, determinant equals 0. If it, does, if it does not equal 0, then we can use this shortcut to find the inverse. And actually, if it, does, if it equals 0, then there is no inverse. Uh, there, won't, there won't be an inverse of the, the matrix. Alright, so because this does not equal 0, we know that this has an inverse. And so to find our inverse, we're going to take the determinant and put it over, uh, put it underneath 1. Let's see, I write this in a different color. We have 1 over 4. And we're going to multiply it by this matrix. Um, but it's weird because we're going to take the 2 and the 3 and we switch them, switch their spots. And then uh, we take the, the negative 1 and the negative 2 and we, we change their signs. And I'll write the formula out in a second, but... Uh, let me just finish finding the inverse for this one. So then we just take this uh, 1 over 4 and we multiply it to each of the numbers inside, um, which is known as scalar multiplication. So we get um, 2 over 4, and then 1 over 4, 2 over 4, and then 3 over 4. Uh, this would simplify to, say, 1 half over 1 half, and then 1 fourth and 3 over 4. And this is the inverse matrix for the first matrix, for matrix A. Now for matrix B. Let's check to see if this one has a determinant. So we're going to take um, the 3 and the 2, multiply those together, so 3 times 2, and we're going to subtract a negative 6 times negative 1. That'll give you your determinant. Excuse me, my nose is really runny right now. Um, so 3 times 2 is 6, and then we have negative 6 times negative 1, which is a positive 6, and so we have negative, or subtract uh, positive 6, and that equals 0. And when it has, uh, when it equals 0, that means uh, no determinant, there is, or, I'm sorry, no inverse. So, in short, there's a formula, and the formula is like this, if you have a matrix A, and it were to equal A, B, C, D. And A times D minus C times D. I'm sorry, B. It's a B right there. Uh, if that does not equal zero, then it has a, then that has a, an inverse matrix. There you go. Fix that right there. And um, so if it if it has an inverse matrix. If it does not equal zero, then you can take the determinant, which is a times d minus uh, c times b, uh, put it uh, under one, and multiply that to uh, a special matrix, which is taking this one right here, switching the d in the a, and then taking the opposite of the c in the b. And then this will give you your inverse matrix. That is, uh, I guess, kind of like the formula for finding the inverse matrix if it exists using the determinant. Hope that helps.